All this month, get any smartphone 32 gig and under for 50% off regular price at Appalachian Wireless. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. While supplies last, two-year agreement required. After tonight, the field of the girls' 15th region basketball tournament will be narrowed down to just four teams. First up, it's Southwood in Lawrence County. The Lady Raiders making their second ever appearance as champions of the 58th district. And the Lady Bulldogs coming into this one after eliminating the one seed of their district, Belfry, in first round play of the girls' 60th district tournament. Southwood off to a solid start. Assist from Jesse Tackett to Taylor Berger for two. Lawrence County, though, sticking with them early in the beginning. A Southway turnover leads to a Lawrence County ball. Bulldogs getting their offense set. They send it down low to Kelly Davis, who goes straight to the basket for two points. Southway able to pull away early, though, at the buzzer. Jesse Tackett, check this out, from the left wing, pushing the Raiders' lead to 10 points heading into the second quarter. With a substantial lead heading into the next quarter, Cheyenne Light getting in on the action. And check out this teamwork. South Lloyd moving the ball around. Jesse Tackett inside to Brooks Stumbo. Final score, South Lloyd 67, Lawrence County 49. And in the final game of the first round of the girls' 15th region tournament, it's Shelby Valley and Paintsville. Coming in, into this one, Shelby Valley 26-4, Paintsville 25-4. To get the Tigers rolling on offense, Right out of the gate, they feed the Italian Eleanor Lanzani. Inside, she gathers the pass and finishes with the layup. And then again, Paintsville on offense. This time, Lanzani takes the inbound pass and drives to the basket. Dishes it to Presley Chirico, who finishes with the contested layup. The Wildcats look to answer back on offense with some good ball movement and finding Summer Rose in the corner, and she drains the three-point basket. And then on the next Wildcat possession, Shelby Valley showing off some more ball movement, finding Summer Rose once more. This time, she drives down the baseline, stops and pops for a good two points. Payne skills Elizabeth Williams, though. She'll go coast to coast. Gets past her defender and flips the ball off the glass, and it's good. In a buzzer beater from the Expo, Paintsville wins it 46-45 over Shelby Valley.